All right, ladies and gentlemen, today you're going to make a bead neuron model. We're going to use beads and yarn, and this is what it should look like when you're all finished. But let's get everything together. I'm going to use a plate. You'll have some type of container that will you'll be able to house everything in. Look on the whiteboard to make sure you're getting exactly what you need. You need 20 dendrites, 6 cell bodies, 1 nucleus, 7 axons, 2 synaptic terminals, and, one, and 5 tip of the dendrites. So make sure you have all your pieces before we get started. You need those, and I'm going to move mine a little out of the picture so you'll have a good view. Then you'll need one yarn, and the yarn is about a meter stick long, and on the tips you should have some tape that's been wrapped around, and you may have to squeeze it with your fingertips to make them really kind of small and pointy at the end. Okay? So, let's get started. The first thing you need will be four dendrites, three, four, and one tip of the dendrite. So, one of the things you're going to hear me say throughout this video is the right side and the left side. You need to know that you have a right side and a left side. All right, with the right side, put on all the dendrites. And put on the tip of the dendrite. Then you're going to push that to an, about the middle of the yarn. So what I do is I take my two tips of the yarn and I kind of push it through and I kind of make it work. And I want you to separate the tip of the dendrite from the dendrites. There's a reason for that. Okay, so you have, if you notice I put my tip of the dendrites now on the right side, my dendrites are on the left side. I'm going to take the right side string and put it back through my dendrites one at a time. One, two, three, and four. And then you're just going to kind of pull it together. Again, you want to get your tips together and kind of make this go to the middle. So it should look like that. Now, we're going to straighten it up. So this is sitting right in front of me like so. I'm going to move this, take them apart. So I have my right side and my left side. I'm going to take my tip of the dendrite and I'm going to actually turn it around just a little so it sits like on top of my dendrites. Okay, so I have them separated, right side and left side. Now we need two cell bodies. Here are my cell bodies. I'm going to put one cell body on the right and one cell body on the left. See, my tape is getting hooked up. That's all right. I keep pushing it, and it'll go through. Now, one's on the right, one's on the left. So my right one, I'm going to take that and go, have that yarn go through the left one. The left yarn, I'm going to have that go through the right bead. Okay. 
Now you can stop this video at any time. You could pause it. You can restart it. And then I'm going to pull these these two yarns together like so. Just keep pulling, pulling, pulling until they come together like that. And again, I still have the right side and I still have a left side. They're still separated. So again, you can stop this video at any time, pause it, so you can work on what you need to. Go back to if you need to. The next step from here, I need four more dendrites. And one tip of the dendrite. I'm going to start with my left side. I'm going to put my dendrites on. And then I'm going to put my tip of the dendrite on. And I'm going to push them down a little bit to see how they come together. Separate the tip and the dendrites again, just like you did on the last one. And I'm still, I'm still on the left side only. I'm going to go around. I'm not going to do anything with my tip of the dendrite. I'm going to actually go back through my dendrites, just like we did on the first one. One, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to pull. You may have to straighten it up. Get that down there. Just keep working on it and keep pulling until it's tight there. Okay? Now leave that to the left. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right. Get four dendrites and one tip of the dendrite. If you notice, I always have them standing up so they're not rolling around. So do the same thing. Put your dendrites on. Okay. And the tip of the dendrite. Don't forget the tip. And you're going to push that down. Once you get that down, separate the tip from the dendrite. And then go back through just the dendrites. And it will get a little tight because the tape gets really tired of it. But you can still do it. If you need, end up needing to get a new piece of tape, you'll have to stop the video and get some help. The teacher can get you some new tape. So we're only on the right side still. I'm pulling it through. Straightening it up. You have to keep working with it. So then you should have that. And let's get the right side and the left side going. And you may want to turn your tip of the dendrites around. Tight, make sure they're both tight. Okay? Now, this is where you need two cell bodies and one nuclei. So, with the right side, put the cell body on, put a nuclei on. and put the cell body on. Okay. Then you're going to leave that down there. You're going to take the left side and you're going to go through all three of those. So through that one, through the nuclei, 
and through this last cell body. Again, remember to stop the video and go back if you need to. And it is going to move around like that. Don't worry about it. You notice I take one finger and I hold it down so I can pull with my others. There we go. And I just tighten it up. And again, I'm back to the right side and I'm back to the left side. We're back to needing four more dendrites. One more. Tip of the dendrite. Do the left side. You know how to do this. One. Two. Three. Four. And then the tip. Push that in. Take the tip back just a little and go through just the dendrites. My tape is starting to get really tired of me. That's all right. Still work with it. All right. So now I'm just going to keep pulling and pulling until they, they all come back together. So now I should have four. See, look at that yard. There we go. May need to. Don't forget to get that tip setting up there really nice. So that was the left side. Let's do the right side. Four, your last four dendrites. And your last tip of the dendrite. You know what to do. Put your four dendrites on. And put your last tip of the dendrite on. Push it down. Separate that tip of the dendrite and go back through the dendrites. Yarn going. Okay. Get your left side and your right side. Now you need two cell bodies, the last two cell bodies. One on the right side, one on the left side. And just like we did the very first two cell bodies, well, we're going to do the same thing. So the right side is going to go into the left side bead, the left side Yarn is going to go into the right bead. And then you just pull gently. Don't get crazy with it. Okay. There's that. So you still have a right side and you still have a left side. At this time, you're going to need your seven axioms. Now, this is a little bit different, so you really need to pay attention. You definitely need to know your right from your left. You're going to take one, put your right one in it, hold the bead still, 
take your left yarn and put it in there. Oops. There we go. And just pull those two yarns. Again, you have your right side and you have your left side. Pick up another axum, put the right yarn in, hold it, hold the bead, put the left yarn in it, pull the yarn, and you're going to do this with each one of them, right side, left side. Pull the yarn. Right side. Hold the bead. Left side. And pull the yarn. Right side. Hold the bead, left yarn, pull both yarns, right yarn, hold the bead, left yarn, and pull both yarns. One more to go. Right side, hold the bead, left side, okay. very good. Now you're just going to tie a knot, one, two, we only have one more set of things to do. You need to get the last two items, the two synaptic terminals. Let's do the left one. Put the bead in, put the yarn in the bead, bring it down just a little bit, come around, go back, you're making a loop and you're going back into that bead. Now if your bead falls off, that means you didn't make a loop. So you're making a loop and then come around and put the yarn inside that loop and just hold your bead and pull tight. Okay. This is where we're putting a knot. And we're going to put a knot here you have to be very careful at this time because that knot could end up where you don't want it. And then you just cut the end off. Now you have the right one to do. Put it in there. Make a loop. See how I'm making that big loop and I'm going back around in it. And now I'm putting my yarn underneath and going through it just to make that knot. That doesn't matter, that's a little bit longer, that's all right. Now we're gonna make a loop so I can make another knot. Make sure it stays with the bead. And if I want to, I could make another knot if I feel that it it needs it. And then I just cut it. And you, ladies and gentlemen, have just made a model of a neuron. And here is the original one that I did, and here's the one we just finished. Great job.